Hello, I am lucky enough to be sitting here speaking with Lisa Vazo Allen, who is the founder and president of the board of directors for the Grocer for Good Ability Development Program. Hello, Lisa. Hi, Heidi. <laughs> Long time no speak. I know, I know. Huh. Um, but anyway, I have been anxious um, ever since you did announce uh, achieving charitable status for Grocer for Good, which was very impressive, you know, because it's my understanding that in and of itself can be a relatively lengthy and involved process. It most certainly is. We were very fortunate when I filed the original incorporation paperwork back in June of 2019, okay. we received our original letters patent in, it was four weeks later, in uh, July 16th, 2019 to be exact. The province gene deemed us charitable. Oh. So that in itself is sort of that first hoop you have to jump through. Uh -huh. And then obviously you have to um, follow through with everything right. as far as the charities directorate through the Canada Revenue Agency. So that was just, you know, a lot of back and forth in terms of documentation. Um, you know, we had to do a supplemental letters patent to right. adhere to what they wanted to see our objects be. And I want to put a, a shout out to uh, Christina at Ross Romano's office. Nice. She really helped expedite the process. Oh. Um, with all of that. So we were really, really thankful for, for the support there. And we received full charitable status January 28th, 2021. Yeah, I did have some questions. So I know that, um, I do know that uh, you do receive, you know, corporate donation sponsorships. Um, do you have any sort of core funding to rely on or are you reliant on donations? We do not have core funding. Okay. Uh, initially, when I did the paperwork and started looking for space, mm -hmm. had a few private anonymous donors come okay. forth. It was mm -hmm. really wonderful. Yeah. And we had some initial startup funding through the District Social Service Administration Board because a lot of their um, clientele obviously um, benefit from having the store there. And then we had. Um, Algoma Autism Foundation jump on board and they've just renewed their um, funding um, promise to us as well. Fantastic. As well as the Sault Ste. Marie PUC has been a uh, sort of a co constant corporate sponsor. But realistically, um, and I was having this conversation with someone else in discussing our business plan is to maintain our full-time program manager, which is really key. Consistency with, with staff is really key. Yes. Um, and some other, you know, paying, you know, your internet and the phone and insurance and all that sort of sure. thing. We probably need to fundraise around forty to $50,000 a year in wow. unrestricted operations, which, you know, in the grand scheme of things may not seem like a lot, um, but our budget is very, very tight and very small. So we only operate on just over a hundred thousand dollar budget. So wow. about, currently about half of our budget um, needs to come from from donations and fundraising and that sort of thing that that needs to be um, unrestricted so that we can, you know, pay rent and and pay our staff and, and for all sure. Of that. Hmm. So, so, um, so uh, how many, is there like a maximum number of staff that you can accommodate? Like, do you employ people strictly for a certain period of time or how does, how does your model work? So all of, I call them the original 10. So okay. we had originally when we opened in early 2020, so that was February, yep. we had 10 staff that all came through different programs through Yes You Can. ODSP, March of Dimes, Sault Ste. Marie Career Center. Uh -huh. And our mandate was even after their subsidy ended, we okay. were going to continue their employment. Not to potentially the same level, and especially now with COVID, we don't mix cohorts. So right. all of the staff that have wanted to return have returned. Okay, um, They do a shift every other week, so we're not mixing cohorts. And we also received funding through Canada Summer Jobs, so four staff positions for nice. 11 weeks. So those staff positions with Canada Summer Jobs will be the 11 weeks. And one really interesting um, antidote from what we do at, at Grocer for Good is, you know, we don't sell cigarettes, we don't sell lottery tickets, um, we're strictly groceries. 
and we have quite a few people that come in in the neighborhood to get their ice cream or their pop and chips and they say we want to come here because you don't sell those things oh um, and, and we don't want to be tempted so so we will never sell you know our own tickets or that sort of thing okay. in our establishment we're very much conscious that we want to provide a very positive environment mm -hmm. uh, for our clients and our staff and our volunteers well it sounds like you're definitely doing that and certainly i see this as a model that's only going to grow i can see it you know expanding you know throughout our region and into other communities um, i want to thank you so much for your time today lisa i am going to be writing an article and i will be including the link so that if people do want to make a donation to this more than worthy cause i will certainly help to simplify that process so thank you very much today Thanks so much, Heidi. And the link is also on our website, which is g4g.ca. Super easy. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks, Heidi. Take care. Bye.